Well, what's up, Wild Wormhole? I'm D House, and I'm back with another deck opening video, getting ready for Keep Forge Celebration in a couple of weeks. So we're gonna open up another Dark Tidings deck. Now, I have opened Sarian in the last like six or seven Dark Tidings decks I have opened, so I'm hoping not to get Sarian, um, but we'll see. So you guys get to join me for the uh, the extra fun today. So, all right, first of all, let's look at the name. All right, we've got Citizen Ironhead, Gordon. I wonder if Ironhead is related to, you know, Iron Man, Iron Heart. No? Okay. All right, so looks like, all right, we've got Unfathomable Logos and Shadows. No sorry, and woohoo! Um, and a cool looking, I mean, these are some like crazy little arms here. It kind of looks a little like Hulkish. So maybe there's like a Marvel cross over here. But um, yeah, we're going to open this uh, live right now. And I'm going to give you some reactions. And then I am, oh goodness, I love opening these decks live. Uh, all right, I'm just pulling this over here. Um, yeah, trying to do a good job of representing the cards in the deck and giving you guys uh, a lowdown on what's going on. So I'm going to take these two cards away. All right, first card of Ironhead is Mobius Scroll. Action Archive Mobius Scroll and up to two cards from your hand. Good archiving, especially uh, with some other cards in Dark Times. A second Mobius Scroll. This is a rare. I've never had a deck with two Mobius Scrolls. That is uh, interesting. Um, man, hope we get some Eddies in here. Um, the SS Wormhole. I do not have a deck with this. I finally got the... We spoiled this on Wild Wormhole, and I changed its name officially to the SS Wormhole because it says... Uh, Action exhaust up to three friendly Logos creatures. For each creature exhaust this uh, way, play the top card of your deck one at a time. Absolute chaos. I love it. And um, I'm I'm three cards in and I'm already loving this deck. So we got the SS Wormhole, everybody. Uh, all right, next up, Archon's Callback. Solid opening uh, first, uh, first turn play. Omega, draw five cards. Feel the Researcher, solid. Elusive one power after creatures play adjacent to Feel the Researcher. Draw a card. Forgive or forget, nice. Um, choose one, archive two cards of different types from your discard pile or purge up to two cards from each discard pile. There's a lot of archiving in this deck right now. So um, that's very interesting. Armor Joan, fight, steal one. Bilge Warden, nice uh, tide raiser. If the tide is high, your opponent raises the tide. Otherwise you raise the tide. Eddie, all right. Now we got something with those Mobius scrolls to do something crazy. Um, archive a bunch of cards and make your keys cost a million. So, like, give me a second. Eddie! Oh, no, but Hydro Cataloger is a fun Dark Tidings deck against other sets. After a player raises the tide, they archive the top card of their deck. More archiving. Oops. Static Charge. This creature gains at the start of your turn. Deal two to each of the creature's neighbors. I like that card. Hey, a second one. <laughs> this is, yeah, it's just fun. Um, okay. Haven't had a lot of... Oh, and we're into, uh, we're into shadows. Okay. So here we go. First things first. Easy marks. Play. Exalt each damaged enemy creature. Um, with the static charges we just showed, that could be a really interesting little combo. Uh, Ransom. This creature cannot be used and gains. At the start of your turn, you may give your opponent to Amber, uh, if you do destroy Ransom. Uh, so pretty much just locks him down for a little bit. Um... Not great, but, you know, it could be useful in the right situation. Borrow, nice. Got some, a uh, uh, little bit of artifact control. Take control of an enemy artifact while under your control. It belongs to House Shadows. Uh, Free Booter Fae, play Raise the Tide. Another natural tide raiser. And if the tide's high, steal one. <coughs> Excuse me. Monty Bang. Oh, no. Uh, I said, the, uh, yeah. Play, you may exalt Monty Bank up to two times. Action, steal one for each Amber on Monty Bank. So this is quite a uh, risk. Uh, I mean, the amount of times this guy actually gets exalted is probably very few, but, um, you know, it's an option, I guess. Oh, no. <laughs> Double money bank. Uh, okay. <laughs> Ransack, steal one, discard the top card of your deck. If that card is a shadows card, trigger this effect again. Maybe, maybe we'll hit the money banks, guys. You don't know. Uh, Francis the Economist fight. Each player gains one with skirmish. 
Gas pipes Malone, the creature gas pipes Malone uh, fights, captures one from its own side before fight. Uh, Hornswoggle, some uh, soft uh, artifact control again, using enemy artifact as if it were yours. And Sea Urchin, nice. Poison uh, play, capture one if the tie is high, steal one instead. Ooh, uh, second Sea Urchin. I don't mind that at all. A lot of one power creatures, though. I'm a little vulnerable to the Koala meta coming. All right, so we're in the Unfathomable, and immediately we see a Kalp, Cop, whatever. And I love this card. Your opponent cannot play more than one card of each card type each turn. So um, I'm a big fan of uh, old, old, old Kalp. Sleep with the fishes. Destroy each exhausted creature. All right, yeah, we kind of needed some some uh, creature control. Um, so this is this is good to see. Hopefully we see some other stuff in uh, Unfathomable to, uh, to exhaust some guys. There it is. Uh, Valakanth. While the tie is low, Valakanth can't be used. Fight Reap. Exhaust an enemy creature and each of its neighbors. So immediate synergy right there. Wrath of Ruin. Choose one. Destroy a flank creature or return two enemy creatures to their owner's hands. Um, solid. Uh, I don't I don't hate it at all. Uh, Brain Drain. Ooh, yeah. This is probably one of the best uh, unfathomable cards in the set. Look at your opponent's hand. Choose a card from it and put it on top of their deck. Really solid. Love a good brain drain. Flame Gill Enforcer after your opponent raises the tide. Enrage Flame Gill. Action Capture 3. So, it's, a, it's okay. Uh, Frigorific Rod. Exhausted Creature Artifact. Uh, works with uh, Sleep with the Fishes, so uh, not terrible. Um, yeah, and a more soft artifact control, too. All right, we got Guild Spine Netcaster with a uh, Capture Amber Pip. <coughs> uh, Reap Exhausted Creature. There we go. Sleeping with the fishes. Uh, Horrid sign in. Meh. Four power poison. Maelstrom with a <laughs> with a worthless capture pip. Yay! Uh, put each creature on top of its owner's deck in a random order. Gain two chains. Uh, Seabringer Kakoa. We got some taunt for those Monty Banks, I guess. <laughs> um, destroyed Raise the Tide. And then last but not least. Storm Surge, your opponent cannot ready cards turn the ready card step on their next turn. So that immediately, again, good synergy. Um, all right, so first things first, I want to know um, how many creatures we have. No, I want to I know Amber Pips. So we got one, two, three, four, four in Logos, five, six, Oof, only, only two in Shadows, although that could be something. Six, um, seven, eight, nine. Okay, so nine total amber pips, not very high. Um, uh, but I guess, okay. Uh, let's see. We've got creatures. We got Eddie. One, two, three, four. So we got four creatures in logos and, uh, in shadows. We've got, uh, one, two, three, four, and then we've got all these five, six, seven. So we got seven in shadows. And then in here, it feels like we got a little bit more, but we've got one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. Uh, all right. So 17 creatures, um, nothing too crazy there, uh, but uh, wait, did I, did I miscount that? Yeah, 17 creatures. Okay. Um, so next up, I do want to look at uh, amber control pieces in each of these houses. Um, I think we got some good efficiency. We've got uh, Eddie. We've got uh, a little bit Armadrone. Um those aren't really amber control. We've got Eddie and Armadrone. We've got a couple of sea urchins, gas pipes, sort of money bank. I don't know if we count that, but we're we're just gonna do that for now. Um, and yeah, we'll include me a second that. Um, so Shadows has a, a a decent amount, but it's a little misleading because of the double money banks that could be. Um, I don't know, more uh, <laughs> risky than helpful. 
Uh, and then in, uh, I've got a little bit of uh, capture pip. I guess that's something. I've got a capture there. And then some exhaust. So this is where like unfathomable amber control gets weird because if you exhaust a ton, they can't reap. It's a little bit of amber control. Um, but mostly I think we're just looking at, yeah, those two for sure. So, um, so obviously shadows is going to have the majority of the amber control. Um, Eddie, we got, we just got to protect Eddie. We need to get this right here. <laughs> we need to get Eddie protected, uh, with the double Mobius scroll. Um, because that's going to be extremely strong. Um, so next up, let's look, <coughs> excuse me. We're going to look at, uh, creature control. Um, so we got a couple of these static charges. Um, nothing too crazy there. It is interesting with the SS wormhole, the maelstrom makes this a little weird. Um, and we don't, we only have four logos creatures. So I don't, I don't know that we would trigger this that, that much, but it's always nice to have something in there. Um, uh, so we got a couple guys with poison. <clears throat> Um, nothing too crazy there. I mean, we've got some big guys, you know, some poison there. And then, yeah, like some soft control here with the exhausting. So really a lot of the, the creature control is going to be in unfathomable, but it is not necessarily like just wipe them out. You got some stuff, you know, Maelstrom gets rid of everything. Um, Sleep with the Fishes is probably going to be a pretty significant um, uh, card, although it can be a little, uh, oh, double-edged because Valakanth has to exhaust to exhaust all those guys. And, um, you know, so does Guilt Spine. So they're going to go down with the Sleep with the Fishes. But, um Yeah. Um, so overall, uh, as I'm thinking about this deck, I, um, I think it's interesting. I am a sucker for unfathomable decks. Um, and the logos package with double Mobius scroll, double stacks. I mean, that's just interesting at least. Um, but it can also just clog up your hand if you're not, you know, obviously archiving logo stuff. So, um, yeah. Um, so yeah, I, I'm not sure. I'm not sure. This is definitely a, a, a weird deck. The money banks are weird. Uh, there's at least a few ways to uh, naturally raise the tide, which is sweet. Um, and yeah, I, I love the fish. So um, yeah, so I'll, I'll definitely get this online and uh, and give it a give it a whirl. Um, here, by the way, I'll show the deck. Here's the full deck list. Citizen Ironhead Gordon. Um, yeah, uh, definitely some interesting rares in there. So, um, anyways, I guess that'll do it for this, uh, this deck opening. Hope you guys enjoyed it and, uh, can't wait to do this again in a few weeks with some wins of exchange. Thanks for tuning in. We'll see you in the next one.